Well, hey there, and thank you for joining me here at Tesla Northwest and EVs. What a beautiful day. You're joining me right behind the uh, Marathon Refinery, which backs up to the beautiful San Juan Islands. And what are we gonna talk about today? Well, I thought with Mount Baker in the background, I'd give you a review on our brand new member of the family, a 2015 Fiat 500E. These are a great little commuter car for in-city driving and short distances, and it's what we purchased to replace my wife's minivan. So join me on the flip side. We'll go for a walk around the outside. We'll take a look on the inside. We'll go for a drive, and then we'll talk about charging. And hopefully, if you enjoy this video, you'll hit that like and subscribe. So check us out, and we'll be with you in just a second. Thank you very much. Right. Hey there, thanks for joining me here on the flip side. So we're going to talk about this 2015 Fiat 500e. This is manufactured by a company called Stellantis. Stellantis bought out Dodge and Ely and uh, Fiat, obviously. And so they're a large Chinese company now, but these are still supported by Dodge dealerships. This was a compliance car that they built for California and Oregon back in 2015 and they're now starting to trickle their way up the coast and make it into different states. I absolutely love this car. What are some of the stats on it? Well, it's got about uh, 97 miles combined EPA rated uh, range. It's got an 83 kilowatt battery or 111 British horsepower, a 24 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. So the battery in this is about a third the size of the one in the Tesla Model Y Performance Amos that we have. But it's just a wonderful car. It's got 39,000 miles on it, and we picked it up at uh, Carmark, Skagit County, from uh, Doug and Mark. So go in there and see those guys, Doug Sigman and Mark Voss, two great salesmen. We picked this up for a dream, $13,500 out the door. It's got 15-inch tires all the way around, and it's not a square setup. The tires in front are slightly narrower than the tires in the back. There's no front. It seats four, but it's a little tight. Single speed transmission, push button, we'll look inside. And uh, this thing will actually rip. It'll do about 88 miles an hour top speed. It is so much fun to drive. If you want a little go-kart to get yourself around uh, cities in, this is the guy. Now it doesn't have any DC fast charging. It's level two and level one AC fast charging only. But hey, not a big deal. I'll show you when we get back to the house how I charge it. It comes with its own EVSC that plugs into an outlet, it charges like a cell phone. My wife plugs in it at night and it's ready for her in the morning. But if I plug it into a level two charger, which would be like our Tesla wall charger at 48 amps, this will do 6.6 .6 kilowatt max. So I can charge it in less than four hours using my Tesla charger. And I have an adapter for it that I'll show you. Back seat leaves something a little bit to be desired. I'll show you that, but you know what, overall, for a small family like ours, where there's just the three of us, and it's usually my wife and my daughter, this is a perfect replacement for the minivan they were driving. No more gas, no more maintenance, oil changes, etc., etc. I think the biggest thing I'm worried about, tires, because this thing burns out everywhere it goes. So why don't we take a look on the inside, and then we'll take it for a drive. And I just appreciate you joining me here. Hit that like and subscribe if you want to see more content, not just on Teslas but on all the different cool EVs we have, because we're now 100% electric. We're sending that minivan off to my daughter and son-in-law in California to haul our grandkid around with. So anyway, we'll take a look on the inside, and then we'll take it for a drive. If you have questions, put them in the comments, and I just love if people DM me or email me, too. If you have anything you want to talk about EV-related, let me know. I'm here, and I want to talk. So thanks, and let's get going. All right, why don't we first start with just a quick walk around. Again, we're here backed up against the beautiful San Juan Islands. You can see those in the back and Mount Baker there as well. And this is Fiona. That's what my daughter decided to name her. Kind of the way we think we're going to go because she's just about 13. This will be my wife's uh, work car. And then my daughter will inherit it if people are still driving when she gets her license in three years. Maybe not, right, with the way FFCD is progressing. But as you can see, it's a cute little car, very small but very safe. It's all airbag, anti-lock brakes, disc brakes, etc. Good passenger restraint system, uh, easy entry. It has seven cubic feet of rear storage. So let's go ahead and pop that open for you. So as you can see, we've got plenty of trunk space. The seats fold down as well. So then we can also access more space with the back seat. 
Got a great little fold up item here. So we have a air compressor and first aid kit. We've got our bag for hauling groceries. And then I'm repurposing our Tesla mobile charger we had from our old Model 3. And I've got an adapter. So this will allow her to charge anywhere that she can find a dryer or 110 outlet using a Tesla mobile charger or up to 6.6 .6 kilowatts of charging, as I said. So seven cubic feet in the back, 147 foot-pounds of torque. So it really rips. Front wheel drive, so it torque steers a little bit. Love the interior. And I'm sorry about the sunlight here. Beautiful orange and black highlights. As we come in, we can see we've got a very cool stylish cockpit with push button uh, transmission and our window controls we can turn the electronic stability control off if we want to and then we've got a satellite radio with cd player typical handbrake i just love the interior on this car and it is very roomy for a car of this size i have about six inches of headroom if we roll to the back, we can see that, again, the back seat leaves something to be desired. But for the short jaunts that my wife and her friends need to make, it works great. Let's get out and look at the other side. We'll pop the trunk, or the, the hood. And we'll come around here and you can see there is no frunk on this bad boy. Just the maintenance stuff. So we've got a nice cowl there. Here's our fluids, some more fluids there, and then our fuse panel and various other items. The car has a actively managed thermal system, so it does heat and cool the battery as needed, um, but it can also sit passive if the battery doesn't need to be. And again, it's a 24 kilowatt hour battery, a third of the size of the Tesla Model Y performance. Here's the passenger side. The door locks are interesting, they're built into the handle. So you push the handle in, unlock, pull it out, locked. Comes with a good glove box, nice and roomy, and a cell phone adapter from 2015. And then finally, the seats are fully adjustable. So the driver's seat uh, pumps up and down so you can raise and lower it and slide back and forth with armrests and then the steering wheel is adjustable. You can only move the passenger seat back and forth. Again, 15 inch rims and level one, level two AC charging only. There's our charge port. So overall, great little car. My wife plugs it in at night. It's got more than enough juice to get her where she needs to go the next day. And we have had it as far as Mount Vernon and back on about 80% charge. So let's hop in, take it for a drive, and then we'll go home and charge it. All right, folks, and we made it inside the car. So let's check out some of our cool options. Number one, uh, it comes with a cool flip out key. So we've got a fob, we've got a uh, lock, lock, unlock, and we can pop the trunk. And just like a regular car, we gotta stick it in the ignition, turn it, and then we have to turn it all the way forward till it says ready. It's kind of funny. So it's just like an ignition on a car, you push it one notch more forward until it tells you you're ready, and then you let it rock back. Uh, great, cool thing. We've got menus we can pick from. So motor power, I can pick trip A, trip B. I can look at my tire pressure, uh, and then it lets me know if the car is ready. And again, there I can have my motor power, so it'll show me as I'm driving what I'm using. Uh, and then there's my trip A. So let's go ahead and reset trip A. And that'll tell us how many miles we've gone and how much power we've used, our average speed, and all that good stuff. On the left-hand side, we have our battery indicator, and I love it because it gives me a percent, so I'm at 76% state of charge. And in the middle, I get a guesstimator or a guessometer. It lets me know what it thinks my range is. So currently, it thinks based on my driving habits today, I've got about 77 miles of range. And then lastly, here on the right is my power meter. So if I'm accelerating, I can watch this little meter go up into the red to show power, which means I'm using energy. And then when I'm recharging, I can watch it go down and go into blue to charge to show me that I'm regenning. This car doesn't have one pedal drive, uh, but it does regen some. So let's go ahead. 
let's fire it up. We'll take it for just a quick jaunt here. We'll shut the camera off and then we'll show you how it handles uh, some more curvy back roads. So we go ahead and we engage in drive, release parking brake. Yes, sir. And we are off. It's got AC, heat, and an auto climate mode. And the auto climate mode works quite well. So here we go, we are off. And as you can see, it's a beautiful day. Lots of people are out enjoying it. So we're gonna go ahead and switch to our little motor. We can see we got negative three kilowatts because we're regening. Now we're using some power and let's go ahead and floor it. Yeah, and we can see we're up in the power zone here. Good speed, top speed at 88 miles an hour. But it has a great little zero to 60. Fun, fun car. It's like a little go-kart. So let's take it on some uh, twisty back roads closer to home and then we'll see how it charges. All right, folks, welcome back. We are right by Lake Erie Grocery and we're gonna play with the Fiat a little bit. We're gonna have some fun. So this is like a giant go-kart. It is just a hoot to drive. You got tons of room in your lane. It just grips the road. It's front wheel drive, as I said, and it's got an 83 kilowatt motor in it that'll do 111 British horsepower, 147 foot-pounds of torque. So this thing will get after it. And it just sticks to the road. It is an absolute dream, as you can see. Oh, we can watch our power meter, and we can see here in the red, I'm using juice. And then as I let off on the throttle, we go into the blue and I'm regenning there. So it's kind of fun to try and keep the car in the green. And then I can watch what my power consumption is on my motors. So uh, it looks like we might not get to have too much fun because we got somebody in front of us, but you know what? We'll do the best we can. Uh, the battery degradation on this doesn't seem to be too terrible. Uh, we're getting about uh, 90 miles estimated range when we full charge it and it's 50 miles to Bellingham from Anacortes so I haven't tried that yet but if you guys would like to maybe see a range test hey let me know I'd be willing to give it a shot uh, we have been over to Mount Vernon which is about 20 miles and then back no problem uh, and that wasn't even on a full charge and it's getting to be more and more you can get uh, level two charging at malls and grocery stores. So really good option as a second vehicle. We've got the Model Y for road trips. And then, like I said, this is replacing our 2009 Honda Odyssey minivan, which was costing me about $100 a month in gas and then $100 every three months in oil changes. So this is just such a great option as you can see it just handles like a dream it drives so nice sticks to the road the brakes were a little bit grabby at first but I think that was just because it hadn't been driven now this car comes with a four-year 40 or excuse me eight-year uh, and a four-year warranty and it is just rolling off of its battery warranty right now it, it, actually went past the time limit, but we're just turning over 40,000 miles is when the warranty on this, I think, is. So not too worried about it, though. Uh, did lots of research and everything I could see. These are very well regarded and people have not had many problems with them. So again, uh, I can't recommend it enough. And if you're looking to pick up a used EV for a second car, go check out uh, CarMart, uh, VW Skagit County over there by Costco off George Hopper. A couple great salesmen, Doug and Mark, will help you out. They sold us this car and they make an effort to have used and new EVs in stock at CarMart. So if you want one, uh, good bet that they'll have something that might fit you. So head over and check it out. Well, unfortunately, we're stuck behind people going the speed limit. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and uh, you get a general idea of the driving dynamics. I hope it's a beautiful car, fun to drive. And uh, we'll head home and we'll check out the charging and then we'll wrap this up. So thanks for joining me. Hey, ID4 and an I3. Lots of cool little uh, EVs out on the road today. One thing I forgot to mention, and we're coming up on some good corners here so we can see how well it tracks. 
um, is it does have an engine whine. So you can hear the electric motor. It's a permanent magnet DC motor. And so it does make some noise. Uh, so you can hear a very faint kind of, uh, sounds like a radio whine when you rev up. And I'll see if I can not back off of these folks a little bit and then see if we can't hear it. Well, I'm gonna regen because it's all hill. And as you can see, beautiful cornering, wonderful cornering. And then I'm gonna have to get on the brakes because these people are a little timid. But it just handles so great. And if I want to be on this side of the lane, I can be. And if I want to be on this side of the lane, I can be. <laughs> and I'm still legal. A cop might think I'm drunk, but look, I'm gonna go over here now. <laughs> it's just fantastic. So we're gonna pull up into my neighborhood. Uh, we'll see if we can get uh, some of the engine wine on camera here and then uh, I'll show you the final little features it has when you shut it off and then I'll have my wife help me film the charging and we'll wrap this video up like I said. You all know when I say it's a wrap it's usually the only like the first or second chance before, you, before it really is. <laughs> so here we are we're pulling up into the beautiful neighborhood I live in. What a gorgeous day and I wish everybody a happy Mother's Day tomorrow including my own mother. All right, so let's listen and see if we can hear that whine. And as you can see, it burns out really easy too. So I don't know if you heard that. It's very faint, it's kind of hard to hear. Yeah, you probably can't pick it up on the camera, but it does have a very faint uh, motor uh, noise. So we're gonna pull in here, we're gonna back into our spot and we'll check out the final screen for charging and just let me know how you like this video hit that like and subscribe I'm trying to mix it up a little bit not just do all FSD all the time so hey there's Amos right there basking in the sunlight probably got the air conditioning on for cabin overheat protection push button transmission on this works wonderful but you do need to hold the button for a second it's not uh, it's not just smash it and go it it does need you to hold it for a second so all right so we made it folks we're here we're gonna go ahead and put it in park let's get our steering wheel adjusted so you can see what I'm seeing and now when we turn the car off I get a trip summary so um, I've done eight hours and 55 minutes of 120 volt charging and I've done one hour and 43 minutes of 240 volt charging Charging timers are off. I can change that if I want to and then it gives me my trip So anyway, hey, thank you so much for joining me in this video Let's go ahead and take a look at how we charge this and then we'll wrap up All right, hey folks as I promised I'll show you how we can charge this thing and again It can do level one or level two AC charging it comes with its own level one EVSE electrical vehicle servicing equipment. Remember the chargers are built into the cars, but this works great. My wife gets home from work about four o'clock in the afternoon. We keep it here. We just open up its little gas cap, flick, and it plugs right in. And that's all there is to it. And she's charging. So come over here. Let's see what the charging screen shows us. And we'll see the big difference, though, between 110 and 240 charging. So we can see it says charging in progress. 120 volts. And we don't have an estimate yet, but it will eventually give us one. There we go. So 8 hours and 55 minutes to get charged using 110. So let's go ahead and unplug that. That's what's known as a level 1 charger, 110 volts. And let's check out the level two Tesla charger. So we'll be right back with you and I'll show you the adapter. All right, hey folks. So we just showed you the level one charging this thing's capable of that it comes with. But if you're a two EV household like we are and one of them happens to be a Tesla, maybe you've got a Tesla wall charger like this. And remember, this EVSE is rated at 48 amps. So it can pump out the kilowatts. Now, Fiona can only do 6.6, .6, but that's okay because this is a smart charger. So the car will ask for a certain amount of power and the charger will deliver it. This guy here I bought off Amazon, $100 adapter. And I'll throw a card up in the corner from the company I bought it from. Really well regarded, inexpensive. So how does it work? 
Well, you got a little tab under here. You push the tab in, lock in your Tesla charger, and then we just come over here. We open up our port again, and we just plug this bad boy in. And now we're charging at 6.6 .6 kilowatts. So come with me, make this a little easier on my wife so she doesn't fall down. <laughs> and we'll check out the screen here and see what it says now. So we can see our 240 volts charging in progress and we should get an estimate in just a minute and we'll see the big difference between the two there you go so one hour and 43 minutes versus eight hours and 55 minutes big difference but at the same time if you're coming home and you're just going to bed heck plug it into the wall charger eight hours you get up after a good night's sleep and it's ready to go but if you got to get that boost of juice 6.6 .6 kilowatts is not hard to find at malls and grocery stores and other level two chargers all over your city, I bet. So another great option here, 2015 Fiat 500e, uh, made by the Stellantis Group, supported by Dodge. Wonderful car, highly recommend it for a second electric vehicle to get you around. It's what we're replacing our minivan with. So I thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Hit that like and subscribe and just join me again on the next video when we talk about something new, maybe FSD. Maybe something to do with Amos? I don't know, but we'll have fun. Thank you and have a wonderful day and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there.